This is part two of relating a table to itself in Access. If you haven't watched part one yet, watch that first. For example, here's all my fields. Okay, let me get rid of the primaries that are in here because they're meaningless right now. All right, we got Bill Smith and Jane Smith. Who's the primary in that family? Well, Bill Smith is. Okay, so his primary is five himself. Jane Smith is five. And let's say Mark Smith down here is five. All right, all three of those are in Bill Smith's family, and Bill is the primary. Okay, we've got Anna Jones. Let's say she's a primary. Let's put some more Joneses in here. All right, we got Sue Jones, primary of seven. Right, Alan? All right, that's where the seven comes from. And we've got, how about, um, how about a Richard Jones? And he's a seven as well. Okay, see how we're relating the records to themselves? All right, and let's say down here we have, um, we have Fred Flintstone. All right, he's the primary. And then Wilma is his family member. Okay, see how this is working? Now I'll make a query that shows just my primaries. All right, design view, family T, bring in all the fields, but I want the is primary to be true. All right, and I can hide this second one so I don't get a duplicate field. All right, save this. This will be my primary queue. This shows just my primaries, all right, where is primary is true. And I'll also add a field over here. I'll say full name is last name and comma and first name. This is string concatenation. I've got another free tutorial on the website that shows you how to do that too. So now when I run this I can see here I've got Smith comma Bill, Jones comma Allen. This is gonna go perfect in my combo box. Right? So save that. That's my primary queue. Let's build that form again. Actually we still have our family form from earlier. We can still use that. Design that and get rid of this primary ID box. All right, let's add another combo box on here. And this time we're just pulling from that primary queue. Okay, queries, primary queue. I'm going to bring over family ID and full name. That's all I really need in the combo box. Sort by full name. All right, I'm going to hide family ID because with queries, sometimes it doesn't automatically hide that first column. So I'll just resize that to nothing. Next. All right, I'm storing family ID in the table. Which field am I storing it in? I'm storing it in the primary ID, though, right? I'm picking a family member, but I'm storing that data in the primary ID field. Okay, because I'm picking a primary. All right, and there it is. So I'll save that, open it up. Okay, Bill Smith is a primary. In fact, you might want to add that field on here so we can see who the primaries are. Right there, there's a little checkbox. Okay, he's the primary. Next, there's Jane Smith. Her primary is Bill Smith. See that? Next, Alan Jones is a primary. Right, Wilma Flintstone belongs to Fred Flintstone, and here are the primaries down here. But these primaries are themselves family members. Now, if I want to make that query up again that shows all the primaries and all of their constituents, go to Queries New, Design View. This time, I'm going to bring in Family T twice. I'm going to relate it to itself. This time, Family ID here is actually the same as Primary ID. So, assuming this first table is a list of my primaries, I'll grab Primary ID and drag it up here and drop it on Family ID. I just related the table to itself using these two fields. And now I'll bring in the star from over here. And then over here, let's say the first name and last name. Now when I run the query, you can see I've got each family member. There's the primaries. And here's the list of the primary that belongs to that family member. Bill Smith, Jane Smith, Mark Smith, all belong to Bill Smith. Right? Alan Jones, Sue Jones, Richard Jones, all belong to Alan Jones, and so on. Now I can create that report and group these guys together as well. So I'll save this. Right? Say this is family with primary Q. Now I can make that report again. Reports, new, design view, pick that query, 
hit OK, bring all the fields in, turn on my sorting and grouping levels again. This time let's group by primary ID, turn a group header on, take the primary information, cut it out, paste it up top here. Okay, I did a little moving around. Here's the primary information. I just put the is primary label up here and the family member information down below along with the is primary checkbox. I'll save this as family with primary report R. And now when I run it, you can see there's my report. Primary Bill Smith. There's all of Bill Smith's family members noting that he's the primary. As I scroll down, there's Alan Jones with his family members, Fred Flintstone with Wilma down below there. And that is how you can relate a table to itself. Now this works great for genealogy databases too because you can relate a table to itself twice. For each family member you could have a mother ID and a father ID and each of those links back to the family table itself. So you can have a mother and a father for each person and then you can branch them out in like a tree structure. That's a whole separate tutorial but if you want to see it Go to my website, accesslearningzone.com, let me know, and maybe I'll put that together as a free lesson. That's all for this lesson. For more free tips like this, come to my website at accesslearningzone.com slash tips. I've got tons of different video tutorials and other tutorials just like this one you can watch totally free. Attention YouTube viewers, if you're watching this tutorial on YouTube, Come to my website at accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube, and I've got a special prize for you. You can watch my full hour-long Access 101 tutorial free of charge by just coming to this webpage and signing up, accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube. And, of course, if you like this video, please subscribe and add me as one of your friends.